blaming you. You gotta be sure. Hey, Shabu Baba Beats, I want to talk about a subject that comes to mind, and that is why did Effie lie to Diana? When it comes down to it, Effie told Diana, stay away from Tariq, that he's selfish, that he's to himself, that um, he will not love her like she want, and why are you saving your virginity for him? Uh, pretty much telling her that he's going to hurt her. Now, for her to say what she said to, Lauren, um, to, to Diana, it's crazy because when it comes down to it, she ends up with Tariq and she goes to Tariq as soon as Tariq gets out of jail. She's there. So it's like, okay, the real reason why she told her that was not because she was concerned for Diana, but because she pretty much wanted to get Tariq for herself, obviously, or that's just the way it appears. Even in early in the season, when they went to see Effie, she immediately tells to her, I don't want Tariq, you can have him. Even when um, Diana returns to talk to her, she's talking about, if it's about Tariq, whatever. Um, and then they start hanging out with each other, to which Effie does school Diana on some stuff that does help her. But the fact that she was telling her to leave Tariq alone does um, show some stuff, especially with her being there. Now, we all believe that Effie may have an agenda with her being around Tariq because when we were first introduced to her, we met her, we liked her, we saw that her and Tariq were smart, they were together, they were friends, and they became lovers, and she betrayed him, had him um, kicked out of school and everything. So that's the reason why you gotta always be very careful with Effie, and this might be a situation here, because remember, even at your weakest moments, your enemies will love to prey on your weakness, but they will, they will come to you. When they come to you, it will not be angry and coming with knives, they'll come at you with a smile and talk and all along, playing around with you and what you're going through, um, to, for whatever reason they're doing. So I don't want Effie to be doing that, but there's a chance that she could be because like said before, Effie and Tariq are too much the same and more than likely she will use this as something to help her. So we don't know. All I know is when it comes down to it with Diana, uh, should she leave Tariq alone? No. Di Diana and Tariq have instant chemistry. The thing is that Tariq is too young to be settled down. Diana appears to be looking for a husband. She appears to be looking for, you know, to settle with somebody. Whereas Tariq, I don't think Tariq is even there. His thoughts is not even there. He's trying to get out of school to get his father's fortune. He wants to raise his sister. He's trying to hold on to what, what little bit he has left in terms of family, being that his mother is now in witness protection. His father is dead. His sister, his twin sister, is dead. Tommy is out of town. Kanan is gone. Anybody that was a key person to Tariq's life is gone now. And yes, it was done by his own hand. So when it comes down to it with um, Diana and Effie though, I would say Diana better not listen to Effie. It's cool to listen to Effie because you got some people out there in the world, they will give you like, I don't know what, let me 80% great advice, <laughs> while at the same time the 20% might be wrong. They're, they give you some advice to get at you or, or use against you because eventually she's going to pop up on Tariq and she's going to catch Effie there and that's going to automatically create tension between those two that will probably make them not like each other for for good it may be a blood feud between those two because the first thing she's going to tell Effie is I thought you told me to stay away from Tariq and she said yeah uh, I told you to stay away from Tariq but not me <laughs> you know she's going to say that and telling her that Tariq is, is, is a whole other kind of dude she couldn't handle Tariq that's what Effie said to Diana but basically what's going to happen is that Diana is going to end up still coming to see Tariq as we saw in a preview um, coming up. She's going to be there in the next episode. What will that conversation be like? I don't know. But I do think that Diana is a perfect recruit for Tariq's team. I think she will lead Team Tahada to join Team Tariq. I think she will be a person who gets information about her own family to give to Tariq. And the only reason why I think that she would definitely do that is because she loves him. She loves him. She wants Tariq to be her first. That's what she wants. So we will see how things um, play out with Diana. All I know is that she can't trust Effie no more. <laughs> Just leave Effie alone. Nobody can trust Effie. I don't hate Effie. I love Effie, but you know you can't trust her. It's like people that you know you love, but you know you can't trust. And that's pretty much the situation. I just want to say to all of you, it is your boy, Bobby Beats here. I just want to say much love, much respect. Hold it down.
12 king when it comes to resolutions and new years you don't need those things to have goals and purposes and things you want to do these are things that you should have in yourself these are things that you should put together on your own we don't need any of that we we got we do this <laughs>